Hi everyone and welcome and welcome back to Nursing You, the channel that is all about nursing and building your brand in nursing. Today especially um, in the next for the next few videos is all about building your brand as a nurse. There are several iconic um, corporations in America. If I showed you a picture of the Golden Arches, you would have no problem in identifying McDonald's. If I showed you a picture of a mermaid idol, you would have no problems identifying that as Starbucks. Well, believe it or not, when you are walking down the halls of your organization, you have a brand too. And it's up to you how to build that brand as a brand of credibility, a brand of integrity. That's all up to you. And if you're saying to me, Lisa, I don't know what my brand is, or I don't know if I've built the correct brand, the brand that I intended, that's okay, because you can start again and I'm gonna help you. So today, we're gonna to talk about fish bones. Yeah, not, not that kind of fish bone. We're gonna talk about these kind of fish bones. So um, if these are familiar to you, I want you to look at this in terms of a diagram. So this diagram helps you to put the picture together. You might be saying, Lisa, I know labs, it's fine for me to read the data right off the sheet. Well, I want you to think about that and consider if the labs are all here in one spot, this is really gonna help you to put the clinical picture together in terms of the data and the lab values for your patient. And by the way, today we're gonna to discuss, um, like I said, today we're gonna to discuss building your brand. But before we get into it, I would like you to please hit that subscribe, the like button, notifications, and share if you are enjoying this content. So um, I wanna highlight another YouTuber. I think her name is Nursing Chung, C-H-E-U-N-G. And she does, does a really good, uh, more in detail discussion about labs, labs in terms of your boards, um, but also labs, conversational labs. And what I mean by that is if you have to discuss with the doctor what you anticipate their orders might be if your patient needs potassium replacement or something like that. And speaking of replacement, the lab values that I discussed today are gonna to be standard lab values, but you will want to um, consult your own institution, your own organization's lab value standards of what's normal and abnormal. Um, in addition to that, you'll also want to consult your own organization's protocols in terms of replacement. What do I mean by replacement? In terms of if the patient's potassium is low, if their sodium is low, if their uh, blood count is low, um, you'll want to consult your organization's um, protocols and standards when it comes to replacing that, okay? So without further ado, I wanna show you the, um, this is a pretty basic metabolic um, lab panel fish bone. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like when it's completed. So in terms of the lab values, um, this is what a completed, you're not, I'm gonna make sure you guys can actually see that. My directions are off. But um, you'll wanna get really familiar with your organization's standards in terms of what, I'm gonna turn this right for you in a minute. Any minute, there we go. Um, in terms of what your standards are for lab values. If you can't read that, potassium is uh, 3.5 to 5. So um, glucose and the BUN creatinine, chloride, bicarb, sodium, and potassium. You'll want to make sure that you're familiar with these um, normals and abnormals so that when your patient gets out of range, either hypo or hyper therapeutic, you'll want to be able to look at that and um, be able to recognize that that's what's going on. And that will facilitate conversations with your physician or with your um, provider in terms of what's needed. Okay, ready for the next one? 
How about this fish bone? Okay. So this fish bone you're going to look at in terms of, um, can you see that? Oh, that's better. Okay. Okay. If you don't recognize that one, this is going to give you your um, blood count. So your white blood count, your hemoglobin and hematocrit, and your plates. So one thing that, how this enters into practice, I really want you all to get accustomed to using these in your practice. Um, again, it, it, it's together as a picture, so it can put into context what is really going on with your patients. Um, and for example, you wanna take note of these, and later on we'll talk about the nursing brain and how you can um, impl implement or include uh, these fishbone diagrams in your brain. So in terms of the hemoglobin and hematocrit, um, if you have a patient in your um, set in your um, that you're taking care of, you'll want to look at the hemoglobin, especially, for example, if they're pre or post-surgical. So you want to make sure you pay attention to that. Um, do they are do they need replacement? A lot of um, organizations, just like they're doing um, antibiotic steward, antimicrobial antibiotic stewardship, they're also becoming a little more judicious about blood. Before it was nothing for them for them to replace blood at like seven, seven and a half. But now what I've seen lately is about 6.4. And even in that, they want the patient to be symptomatic. So you wanna take a look at that for your organization. Okay, next one. How about this one? This one. Yes, oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, this one uh, may not be as common, uh, commonly known or as familiar to you. But this is the one for ABGs. This is the one for ABGs. So this is what this looks like. I'm gonna get these directions down in just any second. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. So you're looking at your pH, your pCO2, your partial um, uh, pressures in terms of your oxygen, your partial oxygen, oxygenation, and then your bicarb. And like I said, those are standard numbers. You want to consult your own institution in terms of what your ranges are there. So why might these come in into play? These are your ABGs. So of course, if you have a patient um, who's got pneumonia, you'll want to look at that. But also, you'll want to pay attention if you have a patient who's in DKA. And then the last one. Okay, there we go is your calcium magfos. And um, again, this is a great picture because if you're replacing, um, if you're replacing mag, you'll also want to do what? That's right, that's right. So um, context is important here. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, this was just a brief discussion about labs. Um, as always, um, I'm here for you. Please put in the comments if there's something that you'd like to discuss. Um, one of my major topics of interest is bullying in nursing. So in terms of the clinical pieces um, and how in building your brand as a nurse and discussing those types of things, um, we can discuss bullying, anything you'd like. So thank you for joining us here again at Nursing You. Click that subscribe, like, and share button. Make sure you share these videos and have an amazing day. Thank you.